एवरी वन वेलकम टू टेस्ट पंडा फाइनली कैट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एग्जाम इज ओवर नाउ वॉट नेक्स्ट रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ योर एक्सपीरियंस वेदर इट वॉज गुड बैड द बर्निंग क्वेश्चन यूर इज वॉट टू डू आफ्टर कैट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एग्जाम to talk on this important topic we have with us mr gaurav dave who is program director at testfunda and has been training students for the past 15 years welcome sir hi sir my first question is what should a student do if he wants to pursue his mba in this current season okay so the first thing that a student needs to remember is that cat is not the be all and end all of all mba aptitude tests broadly speaking there are 8 to 10 aptitude tests conducted over the year and these can be divided into two three categories so you have national level tests firstly catering to the iims and some other predominant colleges like fms mdi gurgaon niti etc that is cat now since cat is done then you have other national level colleges which give you admission all across india which means you have xat conducted by xlri jamshedpur that also gives you admission to colleges like xim bhubaneswar goa institute of management etc then you have private exam or exams by private colleges for example nmat nmat of course the attempts have been done so far but there will be the third attempt for some students already in december snap for the symbiosis group then you have cmat which like iift is being conducted for the first time by nta the new national testing agency and finally you have the state level exams like mba mhcet or what is called the maharashtra cet uh, you need to understand that every state has its own cet exam they might not be very popular mhct is the most popular because it gives you admission to jbims which is a creme de la creme college so these are the broad exams that you can target apart from this you also have one or two very specialized tests so for instance there is tis which gives you admission to the tata institute in mumbai you have mycat which gives you admission to mudra for advertising in ahmedabad so specific colleges there as well okay so a lot of examinations so as a student like we have so many examinations to target right right every exam is a gateway to different you know list of colleges correct in in such a scenario what should be my strategy which exam should i particularly target is there any strategy behind this or it's just uh, you know i should go for all the examinations and target uh, no 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 firstly you should not blindly go for all the exams so there is no harm taking all the tests but you first need to be clear as to what you want to do okay so for instance as a student if i see that i want to pursue a general mba then maybe a mycat is not for me or if i don't want to spend too much on a private college then an nmat is not for me so you first need to have your goals and priorities in place each exam caters to a specific kind of course so for example if you want to work in international trade international business etc your first choice has to be iift a backup could be siib in symbiosis so then the exams that you target are iift and snap if your focus is say hr then your prime choice would be the hr course of xlri jamshedpur followed by tis followed by scmhrd so then your exams to be targeted would be zat snap tis yes. and so on okay. so that has to be the kind of thought process you feel you want to have a high return on investment then students would have taken cat for fms similarly you can take cet for jbims right so these these are some of the points that you need to ensure there are a lot of students who come to me and say you know uh, i want to do an mba this year if i don't do it this year my i'll get married or i'll have to Absolutely. leave my job and all of those things in such a case snap and cmat are two very valuable exams okay. because snap gives you access to at least 20 colleges under the symbiosis umbrella okay. so you have a very good college like sibm 
then you have something like SCMHRD for HR, you have SIIB for international business, SIOM for operations and so on. So you have a lot of colleges. CMAT gives you access to a lot more colleges, but you can't really call them top notch. But if you desperately want to do an MBA, then CMAT is the right test for you. So you need to have your goals in mind before deciding on the test. All right. So uh, the broad picture should be clear. Correct. Right. Correct. Okay. So if I'm done with shortlisting of examinations, okay, right. I've decided I have to go for some for some particular exams. Right. In such a scenario, every exam has different exam pattern. The syllabus might be more or less the same. Right. So what should be my preparation strategy in this scenario? Okay. So the first thing that I would suggest in such a scenario is to go through the past papers for each test. Now understand that the theory that you study for CAT or NMAT, which have been conducted so far, will be more or less similar to what you find in the other exams. So you don't really need to reinvent the wheel. But each exam has a specific pattern and a style. So IFT, for instance, will be very DI centric and long passages. So you need to practice it that way. SNAP is more or less simple. Plus it had it has got rid of the current affairs section, so that makes it simpler. Yeah. ZAT is one exam that can be considered as the toughest in the entire year. I have seen faculty being scared of ZAT. Plus ZAT has a unique section called decision making. So you need to extensively prepare for it. CMAT again on the simpler side. MHCET is based on the bank exams pattern and hence has become very difficult. Plus it has a unique section again like ZAT, which is called visual reasoning. So each of those tests has a specific flavor. So as a student, what you need to do is first take the actual exam, the past paper. These papers are all available online. So even if you come to test funder, you'll have a section where you can find all these papers available with their solutions online. Once you've done that, you get a feel of the test. You can potentially take a demo mock. There are free mocks also available. So try that out. You get an idea of how tough or easy the paper is. Based on that, your key focus area should be practicing mocks. So if you have a one week gap between CAT and IFT, what theory will you study? You are better off practicing five to six mocks. Yeah. Then you have snap in 15 days, again practice five to six mocks and so on. So mock practice along with some targeted theory is what you should look at while preparing for these exams. Yeah. In short, get acquainted with the free mocks, whatever mocks are available online. And then you will understand what type of exam it is, what sort of questions, then difficulty yeah. level and so, so on. Get, get acquainted with the exam, practice it as much as right. you want and just go and give it confidently. That by itself should be sufficient. Okay, sir. So thank you, sir, for sharing this sure. insight and uh, looking forward to interact with you on other management entrance exams like strategy part, so preparation what, part. What I will be doing is closer to each test. Okay. I will be releasing a series of videos on how to prepare for those exams. So that might give you greater clarity on which sections to target, etc. But this is a broad gist of what you can do over the next three months. Thank you, sir, for sharing this insights. We are going to bring lot many videos that are going to help you with different management entrance exams. So stay connected with us. Thanks for watching this video and have a good time.